In this video, we're going to be using McDuff Soap Company Bad Santa and the Mergress Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content today, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back, and today, we're going to be using McDuff Soap Company Bad Santa. I got this at the Razor Company and it was $19.99 for 4.23 ounces or on a cost chart for 23 an ounce, which is a fair price. This is a product out of Canada. It is It is a good quality soap. The notes on this, I'll put them on the screen right there for you. Cherry, tobacco, leaf, oak, vanilla, whiskey, spices. It definitely smells boozy. It's got a stout scent to my nose. If you like good scent strength, you won't have to search for a scent on this one. This is the V4 uh, tallow base. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. And I must say, I did not enjoy lathering this soap. I did get a great lather from it. It wasn't super enjoyable. And the reason why is this is super soft. You see how if I just touch it, it comes off on my finger like that. Super soft. So what happens is when you press that into the bowl and you try to lather it, it just moves around in the bowl and you're in the corners and everywhere trying to chase it down. I think this would work beautifully for face lathering. And I did get a great bowl lather from it as well. I'll show you a shot right there. It's definitely a great qual quality lather and a great quality soap. I don't enjoy lathering super soft soaps. This is soft. It's near, um, it's not quite to a cream level of soft, but really soft, almost goopy. And hopefully next year, this will have time to firm up a little bit and I'll like it more. This is just not an enjoyable lather experience from the perspective of the way I lather. You may love it. It's definitely a good quality soap, but I didn't enjoy lathering it <laughs> whatsoever, just being honest, because I had to sort of finesse and chase it around and that was not enjoyable. I do enjoy the scent, however. It's got a nice tobacco and boozy scent, so we look forward, we're looking forward to using it today. The razor for today is the Mergrass. Now this is essentially just a Merker Progress that has had a brass uh, knob put on the bottom and they've done some tweaking on that. These are sold at Bull, Bull Goose and they're like $132, which is kind of pricey to be honest. I don't know if it's worth that price because you can get the regular Merker Progress on Amazon for like $58, usually between $50 and $60. This does make it feel more substantial and it looks better, I think, than the plastic knob on the bottom. But is it worth, you know, paying twice, more than twice the price? Probably not. But since I have this one, I keep it. And I do like the Merker Progress. I haven't used it for a while, but it is a great adjustable razor. It's two-piece. I'll show you that real quick. You just unscrew the knob. And once you get it unscrewed far enough, top lifts off like so. And one thing you want to pay attention to is on the Merker Progress, you'll see a little triangle. And there's also a little uh, notch there, a little line. Make sure you put the triangle, match it up with that line. And that's how you know you have the head on properly. It is a nice razor. And we will start today on, what are we going to use? We'll start on three and then we'll adjust it upward. If you can see that down there, I'm not sure if you can or not. Anyway, let's get into it because we have babbled long enough. This is just plain water. And I'm misting the face instead of splashing water all over the place. And that works really well for me and some other people are trying it and enjoying that as well. The brush for today is the Dark Sanctum Ronin X. There's a look at the, the coin in there. It's a pretty awesome brush, I think. And again, we have a nice lather today with McDuff's, but man, it is so soft. And honestly, uh, I just don't enjoy that that much, but the lather quality is good. It is very good. I used a little more product because I typically do when I have something that's really, really soft. And I did have to chase it down. <laughs> in the bowl but the result pretty nice I gotta say pretty nice I have enjoyed using McDuff soaps in terms of the quality it's a soap if you haven't tried it try the brand it's good and uh, I've got the ones I've purchased from the razor company McDuff's is definitely um, they make a nice soap they have some interesting scents look at the sheen on that lather so you know our effort in lathering paid off <laughs> It, but it just took a little more work trying to chase it down, but that's okay. You know, some days it's a little more difficult, but my preference is always just to 
you know, have that lather stay in place and me work it. And it just doesn't work with this. And that's the case with almost all the soft soaps. It happened um, when I used the Holy Call uh, cream uh, recently too, where I had to chase it down all over the place. I got a good lather from it, but you know, that's just, it is what it is. So let's, uh, let's see how the shave goes though. Cause that's really where the rubber meets the road and what it's really about. And we expect to have an excellent shave today. Eye is itching there, sorry about that. Drying off our hands and we'll get going with the myrrh grass. Again, these are sold from Bull Goose. That is very nice. Oh man, it's been a long time. Why haven't I used my progress? <laughs> I haven't used this for a long time and it's awesome. Sometimes you just kind of forget about razors, don't you? You just, you know, they've been sitting around and you just kind of forget they're there. And the Progress is a really good razor, I have to say. I've always liked this razor. It's really good. And they do make a, a long handled version. I have the short handled version. I prefer shorter handles. They don't need super long or heavy handles. Um, that's really smooth. The, the blade in here is uh, Gillette Nasset on its second use. And that is as smooth, smooth as silk. On setting three, just absolutely beautiful, superb. The McDuff uh, soap here, a very good scent strength, very slick. And again, we'll caveat, folks, every soap is slick. Every reputable soap is slick. So I encourage you to just work on your lathering skills uh, and the soaps will come around. <laughs> As you get better at lathering, if you're new, they will come around because there's almost no soap that you see regularly in our space that isn't a good quality soap. It won't last if it's not good, so. I have soaps as older than 10 years old that are still super slick and that were made that long ago. So keep in mind that, you know, things are just slick generally. So I like to sort of hammer that home because you'll see in other spaces, not on my channel, but on other space, uh, in other spaces, all sorts of talk about this soap is slicker than that soap and so on and so forth. And I'm like, does it, you know, first of all, does it matter that much if you're getting excellent shaves with everything you use? Probably not. And so my shaves are almost all on video, except for my head shaves. Not all those are on video. And you can see I get excellent results every single day, regardless of what I use, whether it's a $1 soap or a $70 <laughs> soap. So. In the overall scheme of things, it doesn't matter that much, people. Don't tell anyone I said that. <laughs> but if you get a soap and you lather it well, it'll be slick. Williams Mug Soap is a dollar, you know, or it can be found at a dollar. I promise you it's slick. Now, it won't have all, all the other post-shave components and skin foods and all that, the oil of Olay properties, but it'll be slick, so no worries. This. It's definitely a good quality soap though. I gotta give it its due. I just wish it was a little more firm. So in that next base, McDuff, firm that up a little bit, would you? I would like it more, but I might be in a minority. I mean, other people, I hear Justin, the Red Island Shaver, go check him out if you please. I'll link his channel below. He really likes McDuff's the way it is. And so that's awesome. But I like a soap that's a little more on the firm side. It can be soft because most of the soaps I use are soft, but they're not as soft as this, where if it transfers to your finger, it's it's that soft, it's almost like a cream. Uh, a little too soft for, for my preference, but it does work well. So really when it comes down to it, that is just preference and it doesn't matter a whole lot and it may not matter at all to you. And really what you like is the most important thing. Another thing I wanna to touch on real quick is over the last couple of years, we have lost some folks from the hobby and I don't mean they passed away, <laughs> I mean, so we had the dude of shaving. We lost him to guitar. So he started playing guitars and now he's not really in the shaving community. I miss him. Um, yesterday we saw Marion. He did a shaving video and he didn't talk about shaving in the video whatsoever. I don't think <laughs> he talked about fragrances. So he's, we've sort of lost Marion to fragrances sadly. And I talk to Marion every day. And so, and he talks mostly about fragrances every day now. So uh, he's kind of lost Melly Mel from Melly Mel Shaves to Fragrances, although he does some shaving content as well still, but a lot of fragrance stuff there. And I want to let you folks know, I am committed to this hobby. I don't need another mistress hobby. This hobby is good enough for me. There's so much in this hobby to be enjoyed. You people, 
that are here every single day. I'm here for you, I hear you, and I'm here for you, and I'm not leaving you, folks. I am not gonna let you down, so. Stay tuned here, you're in the right place. <laughs> we even see, used to see uh, Dave Cowley. Now, Dave Cowley was a fragrance guy first, but Dave Cowley used to do some shaving stuff, and I don't see him doing much shaving stuff either, but he was a fragrance guy, so we give Dave, Dave a pass. Dave's a great guy. He's a fragrance guy through and through, though. I can't blame him. But Marion, it hurts me. It hurts me that we lost Marion to fragrances. Come back. There's plenty of shaving stuff, Marion. Come on. We need you people to spread the word, you know. And again, I will be faithful and monogamous here in this hobby. So I will be here for you. As long as I'm able to do it, and as long as I'm having fun doing it, I will do it. And so that is my commitment to you all, the viewers, because... Uh, a lot of you spend a great deal of time here. I appreciate the time that you spend. And uh, I will be here. So don't worry. Uh, God willing, I'll be here. <laughs> and I hope that we see those other guys I mentioned back in the shaving. Back in showing high enthusiasm for shaving again. I know I think Mel's always enthusiastic. You know. But there's a lot of fragrance stuff on males now and I like frags too believe me because these the aromatherapy is just awesome but shaving is my first and true love when it comes to hobbies you know well it's not my first love because I had other hobbies before shaving but it is my true love <laughs> and it's what I'm most passionate about in terms of hobby so and I'm gonna stick with it and I have been for a long time already <laughs> excuse me choked up there a little bit but anyway, we hope to see those guys come back and that will be really awesome. Because I was really excited about Marion's video and he sort of kicked off this Pillars of Funk Week, which is musk, patchouli, and oud. Scents that can be really nice in soaps or they can be, they can make them funky. So he's kind of cracking on me, which I appreciate, that's, that's awesome. But anyway, he made that video and I was waiting for some shave talk and it was just all fragrance. And I was like, what the heck, Marion? We've lost him. And I thought, gone too soon from the hobby. <sighs> oh, anyway. Junior and Marion, gone too soon. A moment of silence. <laughs> anyway, I hope those guys will rekindle their love for, for shaving because uh, me, the, uh, the love and passion has never been at a higher level than it is right at this moment. And uh, that is really awesome, so. All right, let's do a cross pass there real quick. And this has been a really nice shave. I'm telling you, if you like a boozy tobacco scent, this Bad Santa, really good scent. And uh, really good quality soap, I would say, overall too. And it's not bad in price considering it's coming across the international border from Canada. Definitely creamy. This brush here is pretty nice too. I like the handle on this brush. Dark Sanctum Ronin X. Look, plenty of lather there, so we didn't hurt for volume. I was worried that we might, but we didn't. So it's good stuff, I can tell you that. So you can try uh, try McDuff's. It's a good quality if you haven't tried it yet. I don't think there's anything to fear. Unless you get, you know, like me, if the texture is important to you or consistency, that might be a plus or minus. If you face lather, I'm not sure that would be an issue at all because face lathers don't seem to mind super uh, soft soaps. So, very nice. I used three the whole way. I intended to adjust this razor, but honestly, three was feeling so smooth and nice and there's plenty of slickness here. Just a lot of fun actually today. I tell you what, every day I look forward to coming in here and doing <laughs> it's, uh It's definitely one of the high points of my day. Oh man, that is beautiful. Beautiful. And again, Junior, Marion, Mel, come back to us. Come back to us. Walk towards the light, the light being my channel. <laughs> Mel. Mary. Dude of shaving, come back to us. All right, let me uh, rinse and we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned.
And all right, we are back and off camera. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap. And then we used our PAA alum. There was no stinging there, so that was a super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then we towel off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber with Aloe. I really like that. I had an excellent shave today with McDuff's Cell so Company Bad Santa. If you like a boozy tobacco type scent that's pretty stout, um, really good soap. I really enjoyed uh, using that soap today. No problems at all. We use the Mergress razor. And again, this is just a Merker Progress that's been fitted with a brass knob. Is it worth over $100, $132 now? Probably not, unless you just want to replace that plastic knob. The Progress is half the price and works just as well in my opinion, but I own this razor, so I keep it. It really is a good razor. People sleep on it, but they shouldn't. The Progress is a great razor, in my opinion. We used our Dark Sanctum Ronin X brush, and it's riding in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. We used our HCNC bowl, and today we're gonna continue the boozy kind of thing. We're using the uh, Derby City Chop Shop. This is Shave Tonic, and this one is from 12-2. 2014. So this one's got some age on it and let's uh, undo that bottle and there's no restrictor because the restrictor fell in so I'm going to have to sort of use my thumb over here a little bit and just get a little bit of that out. And we're going to be having a great day and I hope wherever you are you have an excellent day as well. Oh man that smells so good. This one has sort of a boozy vibe to it as well. It's, it's almost like a bay rum but man it smells great. It doesn't hang around long, so if you don't want to go around smelling like this, uh, it's fine. But it's got a great scent. I really like it a lot. All right. Thank you all today for joining me. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.